Capricorn. Okay, this is your bonus, y'all. No music today. I'll do it later on tonight for the divine reads. I just want to get this done. It's going to be a Thunderdome. So you and whoever it is you're dealing with. Ugh. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm -mm. What is this? Queen of Swords got her back turned. Is someone nagging? It's like... Emotionally... Someone wants to go off on someone like a parent to a child, but in a really, like, abusive kind of way. And the other side of them is like they're trying to be long with Jekyll with the Queen of Swords. Libra. Gemini. Aquarius's card. The fuck? Okay. Weird, but whatever. So, Capricorns, let's see what you and your person are dealing with. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So, if this resonates with you, good deal. If not, don't worry about it. It is just a card game. And remember, card games aren't real. They won't work if you don't believe them. That is the biggest thing to remember. Unless it does, and then, like, it makes you a believer. Now, I'm a believer. Not a trace of doubt in my mind. I'm in love. Ooh. Then I got pile drived in the heart with the three of swords. Re -re 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 Reverse dirt. Okay. Somehow that became like the Beatles and then it went to like Smash Mouth. Okay, so three of swords. Wants and wishes, page of cups, group one. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Either to offer your emotions or you're hoping they will. Fears or rejections, the higher offense. Authority figures, shit you don't know about. Things hidden. Things semi from what they learned in childhood. Could be Taurus. Then we got the fool. That's the situation. Clean slate. Someone looking back but running for their fucking lives in the river. With fish with teeth. Um, the obstacle and challenge coming against this person, group one, is the nine of cups right here. Wish fulfillment. I'm trying to make a wish come true. The high priestess is what starts this shit and what makes it come full circle. How it'll all end. Secrets coming out. She was guarding them, but now she's just looking like, ah, oh, you know what, I'm going to let you in on a little bit of secrets. So what you going to tell us? Options. Trying to decide what to do is the two of pentacles for you. Group one, so let us see what the cards have for you. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, I guess I kind of deserve that. Yeah, how about all right? So, group one. Like, you're heartbroken to a fault, and that's why you feel like you need to go. You're, you're, you're wanting someone to give their cup out, or you want someone to give their cup to you. But there's, like, a wish here that's the obstacle, which is, like... Like, in what regard? Like, like the wish for this person? Like, what's... Like it's not a humorous wish. It's, like, true wish fulfillment. It's, like, you're getting exactly what you're wanting. Like... Look at the Hierophant and the High Priestess acting as above, so below, completely. Um, there are things that are unknown with the Hierophant, but the High Priestess down below, when it's ending, as well as it's beginning, lets secrets out. Reveal something, right, Group 1? Once again, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, someone might have decided to take their cup away, leave a turtle named Melvin. He's cool. You know, fuck it. Um, something about judgment when it comes to, like, not offering the cup, but it came up really mature. Um, someone's trying to escape in the nick of time in order to get to the real world instead of this fantasy world that, you know, they tried so hard to gain a victory in, right? To be with a cancer. A lot of water in this showing up, I have to say. And... I feel like someone was trying to control this bitch right here. Like, she's the nine and he's the six, but he's towering over everything and she lives in town. So, you know, it's like, 
you're mine, bitch. And she's just over here just being like, I love my bird and rabbit friends. <laughs> like, you know, she's got to comfort her as a dress. So she's just living the dream. <laughs> and this person just kind of looming over like they watch over, over everything. And it's just this... Or it's like the same person and it's like they got a split personality or something. On one side, they're the kindest person ever. And then on the other side, it's like control freak to a point. Like everybody's got to do what they want them to do. I guess that's part of the high priestess. <laughs> that was a lot. Holy shit. All right. So three of swords right here. Pile driver to the heart. It's just a heartbreak that's way too much to take. Like, it's a last in one, right? And someone decided to leave after they had their mind fucked with. It's just like, you know what? I'm done with these games. I'm going home. Or I'm going anywhere else that you're not here. And this person you won it just is watching them go away, you know? The fool right here. Someone wants to start a clean slate because, like, the last cycle that ended was just funky. Like, yeah, this is the same person. This person's running. They're both wearing red. So this is the same person. This person ran away from someone's mind fucking and was just like, I don't, you know what? I, I don't need closure in this. I don't need it at all. Yeah, I, I'm like, you know, you're perfect standing right there. You stay there and I'm going to go elsewhere because anywhere away from you is, is better. You know, this person's looking back with the fool. You know, the fool's all about, like, clean slate, new beginning, new start. Fresh start at that. Like, not even new beginning. It's just starting at zero. Like, with nothing. Losing everything in order to begin this new journey. Because, like, you know, whatever cycle ended, like, it ended based on some bad karma shit, you know. Technically, it is Capricorn's card, because this is Saturn's card. Um... But I don't feel like this person's running because they have bad karma. Because it's like, like you know, karma is a, a, a kind of like a rope. I've heard someone describe, yeah? Um, I actually saw a video talking about it. Karma is a rope. And what'll happen is someone will throw that rope at you and you can grab it and try to pull. But then you realize the more you pull, the more rope they have. And then you're sitting there wondering, how much fucking rope does this person have? You have the choice of either keep pulling on that rope or drop it and run. And I think this is what group one you're kind of doing. You drop the rope because it's like, I'm not continuing on with this bad karma. I'm leaving from this bad karma. Your wants and wishes is the page of cups. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. They showed up earlier. Leaving and shit. Um, the person you want... You want them to offer their cup with the dead fish called Fred, right? Very emotional, very young, very happy, carefree, um, very manipulative, kind of controlling, um, not doing things for the right occasions or reasons. Um, This person's like, it's like, the, it's like, what was it? Like Cancer's reading, right? And like every time in their reading, there's something about a magician, right? And I always tell them, be careful about that magician because like, the magician will, um, like, it, like sometimes if you take on the magician, you can go into like thought manifestation and it's like, you can create scenarios, but like, if this is a person that they're dealing with, you know, it's kind of like it's a warning because that person looks really fucking good. And they probably smell really good. And they probably bring food over sometimes, too. So it's all the shit that you would want in someone when you want them close to you. But it's like, here, it's kind of like, this person's kind of a magician, too. In the wrong ways. And it's like, they accomplish their missions, but they don't think about the impact afterwards. It's like, they can only look so far ahead. You know, like, they, they got foresight, but the hindsight is missing. Like, you know, because usually, like, I'm a Capricorn, right? The best way to learn about people is past behaviors because people repeat shit. And what I've learned is that people who don't look at history, their foresight is fucky. Like, they can only see so far. They can't see way long terms, you know? Which I'm not saying that I can, but, like, 
if you look at the past, you can figure out what people are doing. That's why, you know, if you date someone who's a cheater in the past and you get back with them, you know exactly how they're going to act when they're going to start cheating on you again, right? It, it's just the learned behavior. Like, people rarely change who they actually are. They can change to make themselves better and incorporate those behaviors, yes. But when it really comes down to it, we're all animals. And I feel like this person, as loving as they are, is kind of an animal when it comes to, like, what it is they try to create. Nine of Cups, Wish Fulfillment. It's an obstacle and challenge, group one. Now, either it's you that's running away, or is it this person that's running away from you? One of the two, but I haven't figured it out. Wish Fulfillment. You want a Queen of Wands to turn her back? Okay. Um, well, as long as you know what you're doing, group one, this is weird. Your wish fulfillment. Is for the queen of wands to have her back turned. Or your wish will make her back turn. The Hierophant right here. The person who's in authority probably knows shit. Commitments, relationships, establishment. The authority figure on how everybody works, right? Things you have yet to know, yet the High Priestess is down here letting shit be known. Um, back turned. Wisest choice. Like, whoever this person is, this Taurus maybe... And this is fears and rejections, right? Either somebody has a fear that those who are in charge are going to turn their backs. Or there is a rejection of what they say and, like, someone, like, just turns their back on them. Like, no. Either way, it's like um, someone's doing the most logical thing by not acknowledging shit, right? Um, could be an Aquarius. Could be a Libra. Could be a Gemini, right? Of course, all the signs are up here with the Fool and the Magician. High Priestess. What started this shit and how it'll come full circle. Work? What? What? What does this mean? What does this mean? What? Is someone saying they want to work things out? Okay, so group one. I'm assuming you're the one who drove the other person away. Or some shit. Because it's like, these, it's like, it's weird. It's like two different people. I've been getting that a lot in my readings, but it's like definitely two different people. And it's like, mm, it's like someone, the secret is somebody wants to work on shit. Fear rejection is this person, authority figure, logically turns their back to this shit, just ignores it. It's just like, you know what? The higher ups are telling me, nah. Nah. Is someone wanting to be emotionally manipulative with the Page of Cups and the Magician Reverse? Like, someone wants their emotional manipulations to work, but if they work, the wish is, is that this bitch, the Queen of Wands, because she is a bitch, but she's top bitch, mind you, uh, will turn her back to this entire scenario that she'll just not even focus on shit anymore. Or just completely remove herself entirely. Which is what it, she appears to already be doing if she's the person in the cloak. But I'm wondering if you realize that she was the person in the cloak, because that's the Queen of Wands, right? We have the Emperor Reverse right here from the first row. Whatever the situation is, someone was a controlling dick. With a capital ick. Um, 
No one even wants to lay. Okay, there. Like the tower is clear as day. It's been exposed. It's been removed. Everybody knows what the fuck it is, but it's like nobody wants to acknowledge it. Like ever, it's like everybody's under the magician's spell right here. This emotional manipulation to know exactly what is right and wrong, but completely disregard it because you know, fuck if the lightning struck the tower and let everybody know what exactly is going on. No one's gonna acknowledge that shit. The magician's at work here. That's terrifying. And someone's using emotions to do that? That's kind of... Group 1, if this is you, that's kind of gross. I got really says something about you if you go do that shit. And... We have an Empress Reverse right here. She's just as pissed as fucking... Okay, the Empress is looking at this tower and she knows that, it, that it's getting struck. The Emperor is the one who's like, I mean, if this was a divine masculine, divine feminine thing, which it really looks like it is, um, divine feminines are looking at this tower like, will you look at it now? And he's just like, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. The, the tower is fine. Those are kitty cats. Lightning just struck it and it hit the mask that was covering it. Yeah, that, that was just the shade. It was a little wind. Don't like, you know, just making up reasons to not acknowledge this like between the two of them she's acknowledging it and that's probably why her back's turned <coughs> <coughs> i mean and she might just be some spiritual person with the hierophant right here and the high priestess probably ignoring the intuition and like just working on other shit because it's like dude over here just like kind of took off Okay, that makes more sense. This Empress, Emperor, an Empress person, like, was the one to take off. But he's like, he took off from his own bad karma. No, he went to his bad karma. Oh, shit. Okay, okay. Never mind. Now, yeah, wherever he ran to, he wasn't paying attention. Like, look, at he's got his back turned to the past. Look, running from the past. Too worried about running to the, um, bad karma. So, it wasn't a person who manipulated. This is a person who... Had their heart broken and decided... Just to run into even worse shit. Instead of actually playing mental gymnastics. Possibly with this Empress person. So that's interesting. Okay, that's yours. Group 1. We're moving on to group 2. Because, like, yeah. This is intriguing as fuck. I have to say, I feel a little bit sleepier and a lot heavier. Like, and I was completely wide awake when I started this. So whoever that was is, like, exhausted, I should say. Now we're on the group two. Group one's really fucking tired. Like, they, you guys are so tired of running, I think. It's just kind of like, ah, that's not good. I don't know why my knee propped, but it's whatever. It works. Then I got, like, heat rashes underneath of my knees. I got, like, fat legs. So, like, if I sit cross, like, it'd be sweat. It's like a swamp of sadness in my kneecaps. And between my boobies sometimes, too. Nobody wants to hear that, though. Emperor, look at him! <laughs> I love the emperor in this one, because he's just got a big-ass head. He looks like, you know, Elton John dressed and shit. Being like, I'm in charge. Like, you know. Mm, having to squish somebody to exert dominance. You know, Aries, of course. That's their card. Uh, wants and wishes is Capricorn, the devil. Mm. So is Capricorn more towards Greek 1 or Greek 2? I'm not sure. Okay, like the devil and the emperor are both facing each other, right? Like, he's being all smug, and the devil's just be like, I'ma get you, bitch. I'ma get you. <laughs> like, giggly, giggly, goo. Mm, mm, mm. But yeah, the devil's starting to creep in. Could be Capricorn trying to creep in. Someone wants Capricorn to creep in, or something. Catch him by surprise. Fears and rejection is the truth. Capricorn, were you in grip one? Because every time I do a, a Thunderdome for you guys, it seems like I pick up everybody but us. And it's like actually starting to get on my nerves because it's supposed to be about you. Not everybody else 
who has a problem with you? Because it always seems like it's somebody who has a fucking problem. But they don't have the balls to fucking say it. And this person right here is no different, right? Four of Wands is the situation. The Eight of Wands is the obstacle and challenge coming against this person. Three, two. Seven of Swords reverse. What started this shit and how it'll come full circle. This is how it might come to an end. For this little circle right here, right? What's the beginning theme? It is pile driver to the heart. So group one. I think you might have um Did I show the beginning and ending theme for group one? If I didn't, I'm sorry. I should have. I don't know why I did like I don't know. It's, it's like it's weird because it's like I don't Okay, let me just say my focus has been off, sure, but it's like, it's not mine, if that makes sense. I guess that's what people would call channeling, which is just kind of like weird, because it's like, whoa, and this person's like dizzy or confused or some shit. Because they feel fucking dizzy. Like, the other person just made me tired. I actually feel a little lightheaded. This is weird. Like, I've actually never had this happen to me before. I'm 33. I've been re reading tarot cards since I was 19, 20 years old. And this is like... Is this what a fucking re-up is? <laughs> oh, wait. Yeah, retrograde. Retrograde. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Understand that. Still, it's fucking weird. Um, I think it's weird that the Emperor and the Devil are looking at each other. And the Emperor is just like, I'm in control of this. I will squish you. So you see this? This is you underneath of me. It's like they have like, I mean like that, that's that they consider Capricorn right there because that is kind of similar to what Capricorn looks like over here, which is nothing like that, which is like, oh yeah, you keep thinking that. Motherfucker don't even have my wings, you know? Like, you know, this is like destruction, <laughs> dominance, and, and like, wow. Like Capricorn just coming in laughing and shit. And this emperor's getting pissed off because it's just like, this is not the time to joke. Like, that is such an airy thing to do. Like, you don't have the right to joke at this point. You need to have, like, da 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 da. And Capricorn was like, fuck you. No, I'm going to do whatever I want to do. How about that? I'm a bump all over your shit. Like, I, I like. <laughs> it, like, it's weird because, like, the Ace of Swords is behind the devil. Which, well, it's not that weird because the devil, even though, like, a lot of people think that he's horrible and shit, he's there for a reason. It's because, like, you know, he brings truth with him. Like, you can either keep dealing with him or you can deal with the truth that's behind him. You just gotta go through him. And if you don't go through him, you know. But this emperor is looking at the devil. He's not going through him. The, the, like, this emperor doesn't want to change their way. Scorpio's card, death. Four of Wands right here in the situation. I'm sorry about that, but that was like kind of funny for me. Like, this home situation is like timid offer. Like I want to try. Give me a chance. I'll put my best effort into it with the Page of Pentacles. Like trying to offer it up to the devil. <laughs> like I don't know, man. Like, with a Capricorn scheming, we got that cheese-eating grin. <laughs> like, 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 just watch any Capricorn. When you start saying, you did this to me, or you did that to me, or you made me f do this, like, if the Capricorn really doesn't give a fuck about you, we'll just find it funny that, like, you're bringing it up to us. That's a horrible thing to say, but we are the devil. So, you know, give us some credit, you know, at least we're listening to you. But it's like, someone won't let something die with the Emperor. And the situation's like calling for someone, possibly the Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, but I don't feel like it, to come out of whatever house they're in and make an offer, or make an offer in regards to this Four of Wands. With the devil... The devil's sneaking because something isn't working. Or something at work. Or there was a workplace relationship that um led to an affair 
maybe causing breakups, someone getting fired because of it. People weren't listening to each other in order to get things right. Like, someone went into double mode? Did someone go into Wrath of Lucifer because, like, you know, people at work were shit? I don't know. Like, yeah, this, neither of these two people, once again, Cap like, this is, like, the second or third time I've done Thunderdome, and, like, everybody but Capricorn kind of showed up, and I feel like Capricorn's not in here. It's, like, Capricorn's up here doing their sneaky shit, and things not working because of them, which is just, like... Or they're trying to get away from working on something because they know it won't work. Um, the obstacle and challenge coming up against this person. Waiting for a message so they can get away. Sneak away. Group two, you're just as Jake as group one. I'm just going to let y'all know that. Both y'all are. I don't care how nice of people y'all are. Y'all are still fucking Jake because there's something wrong here. There is something. Could be dealing with a Cancer or a Pisces, of course. Most likely Cancer. But it's like someone's charging the head, but in secret they're waiting for something. I guess a signal for this person to come back home, but they gotta sneak in for some reason. Even though they're wanting to... Like, is someone trying to get a Capricorn fired? With the Three of Pentacles right here? Because that's not a good idea. Ever. Like, that, like, I, I, like, I'll tell you that right now, and I'm not even gonna tell you the reason why. Don't do that. Do not do that. Ever. Don't ever fuck with a Capricorn's money. Like, to Capricorns, that's below us. Like, you don't cause people to, uh, lose how they feed themselves. That's a bullshit thing bullshit people do when they know that they can't, like, win against someone who isn't even competing with them. And it really shows how childish they fucking are and how gross they are. And if they do it, they deserve everything they fucking get. But it's like, like, that's what I feel like. It's like, someone's waiting for a secret message so they can sneak away to this new place. Okay, so Capricorn, this also could be you, too. Maybe you're dealing with this, like, emperor person who isn't trying to change their ways. And there's an open door for you with the Four of Wands. And it's giving you an invitation. You're like, you're just waiting so you can get away from this shit. Because it's like, all of this is nothing but risky behavior. So you might be this, right? And what you want to do is use your devil side to get you out of a situation where I think someone's trying to get you fired from your job and you know it. But you're still Jake as fuck. <laughs> like all everybody is Jake as fuck in this goddamn reading. All y'all. Cause everybody's doing some shady shit. Capricorns, I can at least appreciate your shadiness, cause you have reasons. But they're still shady as fuck. Like, what the hell, man? It's like you don't want to deal with this person who keeps trying to control you. So that makes sense. If this is not you, Capricorn. Person, you're still shady as fuck. You're all Jake as fuck. <laughs> I, everybody's Jake today. Like, I don't care. Like... Ace of Swords. I only got 29 minutes left on this because I'm fucking around. The fearing or rejection is the truth, which is this is a third party breakup third wheel situation. Yeah. What the fuck? Okay, so there was kind of an affair, but there's also... I feel like you just don't deal with the people you're around right now. Group two. Yeah, and all this risky shit, what started this and how it all will end, it's not gonna work out at all. 
All this extra risks. Seven. Wait, what? Okay, Capricorns. You got the Seven of Swords over here, but the Seven of Swords reverses over here as well. There's some other shit going on. Jake! 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 All of you. Group 1 and Group 2. Shame on all of you. Because I feel like this is like... No, 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 no. You're trying to sneak off to something different. This is a risky behavior involving, like, this third-party situation that you knew wouldn't have worked. That's what that is. Okay. Still, you're Jake. You're all Jake. You're all equally Jake. But l at least group two, you're trying to be less Jakey. Breezy and shh. Such. Ugh. Jesus Christ, Chris. Jimmy Christmas. What the hell? Who said that? Who said who said that right now? Because that's not me. Fighting all of this fucking conflict is just breaking your heart, group two. To the to a fault, just like group one's. But they were aware someone was broken to a fault too. Jesus Christ. It's like this is such complicated messes. Capricorns and people who are dealing with them. Yeah, you're trying to fight a way out of this shit. Like, definitely there's an open door for you, and you want to take that off for group two. I think before it's too late is what I want to say. Um, oh, there might be a new connection here somewhere with somebody. I'm just not sure who. But it's definitely somebody. Someone wants your cup, damn it. <laughs> um, all this shit over here. Like, all this right here, this is all about a relationship. A connection of some sort. All this over here is like someone's fighting to get to an open door that I feel like someone's trying to keep them from getting to. And over here is just nothing but establishing that none of this shit would have gotten anywhere. It just, everything just... That's the end of the reading. Like, okay, everybody is Jake in this reading. I'm sorry. Like, that's just how I'm going with it. Everybody's Jake. Everybody's up to something. Everybody's doing some dirty shadow work in the works, but that's all on you. Um, thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it, despite me losing my shit a little bit by what I was seeing. If you want a personal reading, the description box is everything you need below. Um, thank you for watching. Like, share, subscribe if that's what you want to do. No pressure. Capricorns, cross watchers, and every one of the ilk, you have a good day. I'm gonna take a nap because, oh, this was crazy. Bye, bye.